Tonight, Greg, what do they need to do to maintain their momentum? Substitution Look now for Cleveland. Court. Hard, he's checked in for Okoro. And Devontae Graham subbed in for Ty Jerome. And the Hornets making a change here. On the floor for Charlotte. Brooke Lopez is out there with Martin. Martin. Then it's Ball. Three. And it's Nicholson in at the two guard. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. Got that bucket in in no time at all. And with that three-pointer, how about ending that 11-0 run by Charlotte? That's a two from Martin. Here's Montgomery. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Hey, guy standing around spectating. I mean, you got to get in there and get tough. Cody Martin, he's checked in for Cleveland. Gary Harris comes in for Mitchell. The Hornets also changing it up. Book Knight comes in for Nicholson. And it's Matthews in for Ball. The Cavaliers trail by seven. Stolen by Martin. Jacks up a three. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. Here's Martin off the left rim and out. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. And it's Harris with the ball for Cleveland. It's a 10-point game. Graham with the ball. And it's Martin picking him up. Graham with the bucket. Good luck stopping that move by Graham. Tremendous handles from the guard. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And a bucket like that one might be just what they need to cut into this lead. And that one, good. He has seven. Defensively, giving up far too many open rhythm looks. And to battle back, Martin. they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. Well, Cleveland shooting at a nice 53% rate to start the game. They are sticking to the campaign. Allen trying to break free. Hart, no good. Hornets leading by 12. Martin for three. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. They won their last game. That was Thursday night. And that was not an easy game for them. I mean, they barely hung on at the end of regulation before they were able to pull it out in overtime. And it could turn out to be one of their biggest wins Martin. of the season. I mean, three just points. because of the way they came through when it mattered most, that's... That's clutch play that could serve them well going forward. The pass to Martin. And finished off by Martin. Nice pass from the point guard, Graham, there. Loves getting the ball over to his open teammates. Now Martin. It could go. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets. 13 points up at the end of the period. Their work from beyond the arc has been to highlight a lot of threes, finding the bottom of the bucket right back after this break. This is we get going here in game two. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Hornets. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. And also, given the game is more fast-paced nowadays, I like the way they've capitalized in transition, keeping their foot on the gas. The defensive pair in the post, Mobley and Allen. Then it's Mitchell. Then it's Okoro. And it's Jerome in at the point. That's the five for Cleveland right now. That's a two from Martin. Again, the Hornets score. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. Mitchell passes to Jerome. Lets it go from deep. 
Rebound by Williams. And that's the battle they haven't been winning today. Their work on the glass has been porous, and that's got to change. Yeah, no question about it. I mean, as they're looking to battle back, that's one of the key elements. You got to rebound. Mitchell outside. And here is a Okoro. Releases. They get it back. Here's Allen. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Earning a trip to the stripe that time. Allen constantly on the move, which makes him hard to guard. This is his first free throw of the game. The first one falls. Boy, you know, when you look at the raw athleticism of Allen, very enticing. I mean, he's a quick-footed, shot-blocking big guy. He's got a great future in this league, in my opinion. And the Hornets making a change here. Richards is checked in. And so it's the Charlotte Hornets controlling the game and finishing the quarter with a 20-point lead. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And we'll be right back after this. NBA playoffs round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the check in for the Hornets. Ball finds Martin. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. I, I still can't believe that one didn't fall. On the court for the Hornets, they've got LaMelo Ball. Williams is out there with Martin, Mark, and it's Nicholson in at the small forward position. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. Yeah, exactly. I mean, free throws are always better than a layup, so I'd agree with you there. And he makes the first. He's perfect from the line this time. Charlotte leading by 11. Three-pointer, Martin makes that one fall. It's his eighth bucket in 15 shot attempts. Defensively, there was a lack of aggressiveness, and it really made it easy for him to knock that shot down. Jerome passes to Mitchell. Here's Jerome. Is it to Mitchell? Just five on the clock. Let's it go. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Martin for three, and it's the Hornets another three. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. That's a two from Martin. Again, the Hornets score. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Jerome passes to Okoro. Two minutes remaining in the third. Allen left side. Two minutes. Mitchell outside. Misses the three. Hornets leading by 17. Pass to Martin. One forty-four left in the third. Connects from three-point range. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. There's a minute 34 left to play in the third. 
inside. Here's Allen, and slam dunk by Allen. And you know, guys, all it takes is inside positioning. As soon as you give Allen that, it's pretty much a wrap. Martin for three. Martin. Good on the three-point shot. Martin's got 32 points in the game. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And you know what? It's all about the long-distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. Martin with the bucket. Guys, this has been an incredible performance this quarter. I mean, he's getting the ball where he likes it and wants it and just going to work. Kicks to a Okoro. Pass to Mitchell. Launches a three. Cleveland gets it back. Mobley dishes to Allen. No points to be had here. Misses for the fifth time in 13 tries. Takes a three. And he nails the three. Nice three shot points. from beyond the arc there from Martin. Martin's got 37. That's tipped. Stolen by Martin. And it's good Martin. for two. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. The Cavaliers have gone 8 of 13 on shot attempts to begin the second half. Shot and game clock separated by five. There's the double team with Martin. The pass to Okoro. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Mobley misses. Right side, Martin. Over Okoro. And there's another one for the Hornets. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. And what's been impressive is that it's not been any one player. It's been a collective effort, contributions from everybody. And so it's Charlotte in complete command. Their lead at 28 points going into the break. And with as many three-pointers as they drink, it's easy to see why they're on the cusp of a blowout. We'll return shortly. And a quick look now at the State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, a terrific, unselfish play right here. Set up his teammate. And how about the setup this was? Yeah, and as a two guard, he's typically not a reluctant shooter. So it was really nice to see him orchestrating for a teammate instead. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. And the foul called on MP. That's foul number two for him. Graham with the ball. Matthews covering. Harris is out there with Devontae Graham. Then there's Cody Martin. Then it's Mike Muscala. And it's Wade in at the four-man position. That's the five for Cleveland right now. Martin finds Graham. Down low. Here's Harris. No good on that one. And the Hornets now going the other way. Booknight passes to Martin. Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Harris looking it over. The rebound by Richard. Charlotte shooting fantastically in this game. 62% from the floor. Hey, hey, right here. It's Martin on the wing. Guarded by Harris. Martin with the bucket. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. Martin dishes to Wade. Harris passes to Wade. Here's Muscala. The shot, no good. And the Hornets now going the other way. Wade against Martin. Three-pointer. And again for three. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. Lays Martin. it in off the breakaway. Martin's got 48. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Hornets? I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end. Tenacious. They're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steals. Uh, another place they've had the upper hand tonight is in transition. They've gotten a bunch of their points off the fast break. 
Here's Muscala. Banked in off the glass. Muscala. Got to box out on the boards. When you don't, that's what happens. The Hornets have gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. He's feeling it. And it's Martin missing. And it's Harris with the ball for Cleveland. Wade outside for three. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Book Knight's got four rebounds in this game. Martin for three. Another one goes. Incredible. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. Bring him against Matthews. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Here's Muscala. Doesn't go for him. And the Hornets now going the other way. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Right side, Martin. Passes it to Thor. He kicks to Matthews. Rocket six. Martin for three. The Cavaliers pull it in. Here's Graham. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Cavaliers will retain possession. Cleveland ball. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Hart's checked in. The Hornets also with a sub. Lopez is checked in. So no problem for Charlotte as they get the win. Just a massive victory, Greg. Maybe it's overstating it, but I think this was a game they had to have. And I don't think it's overstating it. I agree with you. I mean, going down 2-0 would have given this team a huge hill to climb. But now at one game apiece and with some momentum, this is anybody's series. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us during this first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. For Clark Kellogg. Taking a look at Charlotte, this is a team that's in great position to take control of this series. Yeah, they've really positioned themselves very well. Teams will make substitutions. On the court right now for Cleveland. Okoro at the three with Mobley at the four. Donovan Mitchell out there with Devontae Graham. And it's Allen in at the center position, filling out the middle. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Outside Graham. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. Graham 
is doubled. Pass to Mobley. Six on the shot clock. Ball against Graham. Shoots over ball. Here's Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. We know unequivocally Evan Mobley has length. He's got timing. This guy eats up rebounds. Goes up on the baseline. Martin with the bucket. Martin's got his second bucket on the night. And that's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous crossover. The three from Okoro. Ball with the rebound. <laughs> the way they've gotten after rebounds has been impressive. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. From deep, MP. And the Hornets, another three. <laughs> An excellent perimeter offense so far. Their shooters are clearly in a great rhythm. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Mitchell, the pass to Graham. The three from Okoro. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. Pass to Martin. Fires the three. Sends it home from three-point land. Martin's got 11. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Back to Okoro. Now here's Graham. Here's Okoro. Can they get it? Boom! He jams it straight down. Oh, to be that athletically gifted. Okoro is a two-guard who plays at the cup. Martin against Mobley. Martin with the bucket. He's got 13. They've played with fantastic energy from the opening tip. Well, you set the tempo early, and when you get command and control of a game, it's perfect. Mobley. Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. Ball passes to Martin. It could go, and it's in! Oh, nails the buzzer beater! Are you kidding? What a huge shot to beat the buzzer. My goodness. Well, that's the perfect end of the quarter for them. You have no idea how much of an effect those buzzer beaters can have on a team's momentum. And so it's Charlotte going into the break up 12. They've done well to disrupt the opposition, playing inspired defense. Time for a quick break, then back to the action. Okay, please give a big round of applause. And welcome back to our coverage of Game 3 on 2K Sports. All right, guys, the Hornets enjoying a nice lead here. They're getting a big contribution from the bench already. As a coach, I think you get a certain feel for what your team needs. And credit this guy for not waiting around. He went ahead and made the adjustment. They've got MP. He's out there with Brooke Lopez. And it's Matthews in a point guard. So that's the group out there for Charlotte. Now off the inbound. Hard can't hit. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Here's Martin. Drops one in from the wing. Martin's got 18. Boy, he's been unconscious this quarter. I love the confidence he's playing with. Pass to Martin. Here's Jerome. And it's Allen who slams it home. Uh, Jared Allen has length and athleticism, and that's an easy opportunity. Wow. Martin with the ball, covered by Mobley. Beyond the arc. Charlotte gets it back. McGowan buries it down low. Offensive rebounding is all about wanting it. Fantastic effort there, leading to second chance points. Here's Mobley. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Well, we call that a high percentage shot for Mr. Evan Mobley. He gets after it in there. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, I mean, to get a shot like that on a drive, oh, it's those type of plays that will chip away at the lead. Thanks. Well, MP in their last game against the Cavaliers was tremendous. He finished with 51 points and was on point from deep. Monster production. He was focused. He was relentless. Everyone is still buzzing about it. Guys?
And the only question now, how does he follow up that performance? Yeah, each night comes with different challenges, and I'm sure their opponent has seen the film. What you love about this guy, though, is even when the defense adjusts to what he's doing, he'll make an adjustment right back. He is always ready with a counter. Now a timeout called by Charlotte. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Well, this is a chess match. The first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. It's the Hornets. They're up by five. And we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit. With the score, Hornets. 51, the Cavaliers, 46. And thanks for sticking with us as this round one. Hornets making a switch here. Martin's checked in. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Harris is checked in for Evan Mobley. And here's MP from outside. And he drains another one. He's now 10 of 11 from the field. What a great shooting performance. His percentage is outstanding. On the court for the Cavaliers. We've got Jared Allen, Gary Harris out there with Okoro. Then it's Ty Jerome, and it's Mitchell in a two-guard. Martin right side, fires the three. And again, Charlotte with the triple. Wow, <laughs> their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. The Cavs trailing. Pass to Jerome. Outside Mitchell. On the wing, Mitchell. They need this. That's bucket number five. Donovan He's five Mitchell. for 12 now. Uh, Donovan Mitchell has an earned reputation as being elite as a scorer in this league. He's cooking right now. Here's Martin. That shot is off. And Cleveland the other way now. Over to the wing. Puts it up from 12. Some solid defense from Martin. For Charlotte, they've gone four of eight in the third. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. There's the three. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Allen's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Mitchell misses. He made a three back in the first half, but that's it. We'll see if he can find his stroke. From deep, MP. Yes, sir, and it's Ball with the assist that time. Ball's got his fourth assist with that last one. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Harris outside. And once again, off the mark by Cleveland. The Hornets have gotten five of ten shots to go. And here's MP from outside. He's rebounded by Okoro. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Outside Mitchell. The Cavaliers again cannot hit. Here's Charlotte. Stringing it together. They've got an 11-2 run going. From deep, MP knocks down the triple. Martin's got 12 points now in the quarter. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. All charge to Charlotte. Martin. For the Cavaliers, Martin, he's checked in for Okoro. Martin comes in for Harris. And Graham subbed in for Jerome. We've got 33 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Graham. Martin outside. The three. Richards pulls it in. For Charlotte, they've gotten six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. I tell you, the vision is simply special. LaMelo Ball toys with the defense, creates easy opportunities for his teammates. Mitchell against Martin. For three. That shot off the mark. That'll count. Oh, 
with the clock running down, he nails a big shot. Big shot taker, big shot maker. Woo! That is a way to fire him up, fire up the team. What a tremendous play. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. It's the Hornets leading by 17. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. Great to have you with us again as we return to our coverage of round one. Going inside. And foul call. Almost got it to go in, but he'll go to the line for two. It goes on Josh Hart. Almost converts despite the contact. All right, guys, a breakdown here of the hustle stats for the Hornets. These guys have incredible stamina based on how they've been running the floor, using speedy transition play to get fast break points. Something else that they've had working for them is attacking the offensive glass. Boy, taking advantage and creating second chance points. Impressive. And both free throws good for MP. And the Cavs shooting about 43% in this one. On the court right now for Cleveland. The lengthy pair of Mobley and Allen are together inside. Devontae Graham out there with Cody Martin. And it's Hart in at the small forward position. And here's MP from outside. Sinks it from distance. Martin's got 43 points. In today's game, you can never afford to get beat in the three-point battle. Stolen by MP. And stolen by Graham. To the middle. Here's Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. Mobley may be thin of frame, folks, but showing you he's willing and able to absorb the contact and make the play anyway. Williams has checked in for Richards. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Jerome's checked in. At the line, one shot. Here's Ball. It's Martin on the wing, covered by Mobley. And again for three. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A., unbelievable. Here's Allen, and it's Allen who slams it home. Ooh, putting on a show for the fans, going up with a graceful reverse. Oh, that had a little extra sauce on it, Grant. Martin misses. For Cleveland, they've gone a perfect three for three here in the fourth. Pass to Allen. Back to Jerome. And Martin comes to help. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by MP. Out on his own on the break. He goes up. Finished off the break. Martin's got 48. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. Outside Hart. Let's it go from deep. The Hornets pull it in. It's Martin on the wing. Oh! Another one falls. <laughs> My goodness. 50 for the game. Just putting on a show. Cleveland calls timeout. Cleveland. And make some noise. It's your honeybee. Akoro is checked in for the Cavaliers. Substitution on the court at the line for your Hornets. James Booknight at the line for one. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Jerome. Tries again. And Allen lays it in. Well, so often we're talking about Jared Allen's length, and he does it nicely on the offensive glass right there. And here's Charlotte. Here's Martin. 
Another bucket. Wow. <laughs> That's 52 points for him. Making it all look too easy right now. To the paint. Here's Allen. That one falls. Yeah, nice Allen. setup by Mitchell. The assist. Great game for him. Double-double now. And this is why guys love playing with Donovan Mitchell. Can he score it? Yes. But he loves to set his teammates up. From deep, MP. It counts. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. And so it's the Hornets taking care of business in this one. And with this win, they'll jump out to a 3-1 lead in the series. A commanding start. And they can't afford to take their foot off the gas pedal. The job isn't done yet, but it's close to being all she wrote. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us.